Hi, Lisa here. Today I'm going to show you how to make a head wrap with the Martelli head wrap template. The supplies that you're going to need to make this head wrap is you're going to need at least a half a yard of fabric. You're going to need the template. I'm using the 45 millimeter rotary cutter and some scissors and coordinating thread. Now I've got cotton fabric here that I'm using, but I'm also going to want to make a lining. So I, I could use the exact same fabric on here to do the lining with it, but I wanted to show a little bit of a contrast. This head wrap can also be made without a lining. On this one here, I made it with the lining, but if you was to do it with a stretch fabric or a knit, you could do it without a lining. And I think you could even do the cotton one without a lining. The first thing that you're going to do is you're going to lay out your fabric and you're going to cut a five inch strip off of that. This is going to be used for the strap that's going to go across the, across the top of it here. And it's also going to be used for the ties. So if, I, if I'm doing with the fabric, it's going to be about 42, 44 inches long. So you're doing with the fabric. All right, then you're going to go ahead and just set that aside. Then you're going to take your template and you're going to place this edge, the straight edge, just set it on the edge of the fabric, preferably right where you just cut it off. We're not placing it on a fold because we're going to need the two pieces to form the top part of the head. All right, then I'm going to just have that set aside. All right, so here is, this is the top part and I've already pre-cut a piece for the lining. So what we're going to do, we're going to take it to the sew machine and we're going to sew a quarter of an inch on this long curve. So here's the front. So you're going to sew a quarter of an inch all the way here and then a quarter of an inch here, but you're going to put them right sides together. So we'll go ahead and go to the sew machine and we'll get that done. So again, I'm going to do a quarter of an inch uh, seam and I'm going to go from the top part, the front of the head, head, band, head, head wrap, and it's going to be right here. And it's going to be a quarter inch all the way down. I'm going ahead and doing it in white thread so that you can see it. And go ahead and do that exact same thing with your lining piece. All right, now while you're at the sew machine, go ahead and open them up. And go ahead and place them right sides together. Because now we're going to sew this piece right here. This is the back. This is where the little flap is. It's on the back. So we're just going to go ahead and put a nice seam on that. So we're just going to match up here and just sew it all the way around. You could pin it or you could uh, use some clips. We're just going to go ahead and just sew it. And it's also a quarter of an inch. I'll flip it around so everybody can see it. Kind of match up your seam there in the middle. Alright, so go ahead and pull it all the way out. And then you're going to do a quick little top stitch right over top of that. That's going to secure it all down. So I kind of just roll it out. You could take it to your iron and press that. So 
So I have my stitch length increased to about 350 and I'm going to be doing about an eighth of an inch. Now, if you was doing this as a single layer, then I will have to finish that edge. I would just roll it under about a quarter of an inch and just sew it down. If you didn't want to have the two layers like a lining, if you just wanted to have a piece of fabric, just this right here, just uh, fold it over about a quarter of an inch and just sew it down. So this is what you have right here. So now we've got all this raw edge right here. So now we're gonna go ahead and work on creating the band slash strap that's gonna be attached to this piece right here. We're gonna take our strap and we're just going to, I'm just gonna do a press of about a little over a quarter of an inch all the way down. And I, it's just a little bit of prep work that has to be done on this because I wanna be able to close in all of those raw edges. So I kept the salvage on here because I'm just folding it over and I'm just going to press it down. And then I'm just going to take it and I'm just going to fold it over just a little, about a quarter of an inch, maybe a little bit more because I'm going to sew it down. So I'm just kind of gliding it down and I'm going to do that on all four sides. Two sides, I'm just doing it that way. And then I'm gonna do the double fold on the very ends. I'm right-handed, so I'm going to start back on this side and get the second side done. Now, there's some people that can just take it straight to the sewing machine and not have to do this. I still like to fold it a little bit. So then the next step would be just to go to your sew machine and just sew it down on all both sides and all the way across. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have the folded edge right along the edge of my foot. So it should be about a quarter of an inch or maybe have it just a little bit further in and just sew all the way around. I have it so I can see the fold, so that way I can make sure that I'm actually catching it. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna take it back to the iron and I am going to go ahead and fold it in half and iron it all the way down. And then we're going to find the middle and we're going to attach it to the, the, the cap part. And then we'll come back to the sewing machine and we'll get it all sewed up. Okay, after you have it all sewed down, now you're just going to take it. You're going to fold it in half all the way down and you're going to hit it with your iron. Be sure to match it up pretty good, edges to edge. After you have it ironed, you're going to fold it in half. You're going to get it where it's matched up on the ends, have your halfway point, and I want you to press that. Give, give it a light press. You can finger press it. Then you're going to take your cap and you're going to have your seams lined up right here. Then you're going to take your strap 
and you want it where it's opened up right here and you're going to place that folded piece where the center was you're going to rest it right there on the seam of the cap and your lining so you've got your raw edges here and then your open here up against here so this is where the clips will be really good for this or you can use pins but I'm just going to clip it right there and it's holding everything in place then I'm just going to kind of work around lining up the raw edges and lining up the edges of the band and I'm going to put another clip here and I'm going to go all the way to it's at the very edge and then go ahead and go all the way to the edge on the other side Line up the raw edges, line up the edge of the band part all the way down. Again, I'm doing this with, um, with a lining, but if you was to do this with a, just a single layer, you would just be attaching this to the raw edge, but you'd still center it. This goes all the way to the edge. Another one right here. So after you have it all clipped, you're going to start sewing on one of the ends. I'm going to start on this end. I'm going to sew across here. I'm just going to basically follow the stitch line that I already have on my strap. And I'm going to sew across and I'm going to sew all the way down, get to where I'm on the cap. Just keep on sewing all the way down till I get to the other end of the strap. And when you've done that and your clips are removed, then you pretty much have completed the whole cap. So we'll go ahead and go to the sewing machine and get that done right now. I'm gonna start here, back tack, sew here, and just sew all the way down. I'm just gonna to try to stay right there on that line. It probably won't match up on the other side, but it'll be close. When you take off your first clip, just kind of hold it because you're getting ready to go up and over a little bit of bulk right there. Now, if you wanted, you could do a little bit of a back tack like right here where the hat uh, attaches it. And at the other side, I didn't do it here, but you could easily do that to give it a little extra strength. So that's it. She's completely done. Now, if you wanted to, you could take this. If you have a serger, you could go over this with a serger. Or if you want, you could do a tight zigzag all the way around it to just kind of enclose that just a little bit. Um, not quite sure what stitch it is on here, but you could do that. That way you wouldn't be having any loose threads or anything. But once you turn it out, The whole cap is complete. Again, this is done with a lining. You could do the exact same thing. If you didn't want to have the lining, just be sure to put a little hem right here on this end here. If you did this with the stretch uh, lycra or the um, jersey fabric, you could just do the whole thing on a serger. So this is our tutorial on the head wrap, also called a skull cap or a surgical cap, whatever you want to be. I love it because it's got this opening in the back that you could tuck it in and tie over it or if you have a ponytail or long hair, it could be hanging off the back. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have a wonderful day and stay safe out there. Bye-bye.